Hey YouTube, it's Slip On Queen here. Just wanted to come here today and I wanted to share a Dollar Tree haul. I know I have kind of been MIA, I haven't been on here in a while. I've been, I restarted school and I've had a lot going on this, this past two weeks. So I wanted to get on here today and share a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. So let's just get started. So speaking of school, I needed some more filler paper for one of my binders. So I picked up the filler paper. You get 150 uh, count sheets and this is the college rule. So I picked up a pack of that. And then I had to get some bubble wrap for a package I'm sending off. And so I just bought a little roll of their bubble wrap. Um, I went on the Halloween uh, candy aisle and I picked up a bag of the 19 count um, Chupa Chubes um, lollipops. You get cola, creamy, and fruit. So you get a cherry flavor, a strawberry flavor, a strawberry vanilla flavor, and cola. So I picked those up. Then I picked up two bags of the pumpkin spice cups. These are just chocolate and pumpkin spice flavor and they're really good. They're from the Palmer brand. Um, I like them pretty good. So I picked those up. Then I went down the medicine aisle and I picked up the um, Assured brand allergy. Um, it's compared to Benadryl. Picked up that because this is always good to have on hand. I know almost every Dollar Tree haul I've picked up a thing of this. But um, it's just good to have on hand because you never know when you're going to need Benadryl. Um, and so then I picked up the Blistex Lip Medex. Um, I picked some of this up last time and I really loved it. So I wanted to have an extra one for the colder months, you know, if I go through that one. So this is the, the Lip Medex and it is relieves sore, sore lips and restores moisture balance, quickly cools and comforts. And I really like this. This is a great buy for a dollar. So I picked another one up. And then while I was down the beauty aisle, they had uh, the Fusion Lip Smacker. And I recently had one of these sent to me from one of my friends. But um, when I saw it at my store, it was the last one, so I grabbed it because I tried the one my friend got me. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. So this is a Raspberry Lime um, Lip Smacker. I really love that. And I picked up the last one they had. Um, and while I was down that aisle, I picked up some of the AIM um, Tooth Flossers. You get 60 in a bag, so I picked up those. And they actually have like the pick on the end. Or if I can point to it, there it is, the pick. So I picked those up. And then I found this. I thought this was a really good buy for Dollar Tree. This is um, Secret Sore Throat Cough and Dry Mouth. It's immediate pain and cough relief, soothes dry mouth, made with real honey, and it's a honey lemon flavor. So these are really great to keep like in your bag or in a first aid kit. Um, these have a hard tin they come in. So I thought that was awesome. So then I went down the cooking aisle and they had um, some of the saffron yellow rice I like to buy on occasion. I don't eat this a lot because it's very high in sodium and um, let me see what it says. Yeah, 590 milligrams. So that is a ton of sodium. So this is something that if I do cook it, we cook it once in a while. We don't cook it a lot, but I wanted to have one in my pantry just to have as backup. So um, I picked up a bag of it. Um, then I picked up two bags of the Betty Crocker Fudge Brownie Mix. These are always good to have on hand. You never know when you're going to have to make something sweet for something. Um, and then I uh, normally get canola oil from the grocery store, but I hadn't been to the grocery store yet. So I just grabbed one of their uh, vegetable oils they have. It's the Golden Chef Vegetable Oil. It's just a little small bottle, um, 16 ounce. But I picked it up just so I didn't have to go to the extra, like, extra trip to the grocery store and save some gas. Um, so, then we're going to get into some fun stuff. Because beauty stuff is fun. So, I'm going to share with you guys what I found today. I have been looking high and low for the e.l.f. products that everybody's been hauling because I really love the e.l.f. brand, um, you know, makeup. And I've really had this obsession with, like, lip glosses and um liquid lipsticks lately so when i saw that they had these at dollar tree i was like gotta find it gotta find it so i picked up the um extra lip um uh, lip gloss in brett that's the color and then i picked up the one in natural and it's a lip lacquer i think i picked up two of those because i'm sending one of my friend yeah i picked up two of those so that was awesome then I picked up two of um, where's it at? Two of the Elf volumizing mascara in black. I thought that was awesome. 
I love whenever Dollar Tree gets the e.l.f. products. And then they didn't have uh, many of these on the shelf, so I just grabbed what I could find. And this is the matte lip color in natural. And there is what the product looks like. So I'm excited to try that out. And I picked up two of these because one's going to go to my friend. This is the e.l.f. Uh, brow comb and brush. So I picked up one of those, or two of those, I mean. And then I picked up this. This was the last one they had of this. This is the Lip Lacquer in Bold Pink. This must be one that's really popular because that's all they had left. Um, and then I just saw this randomly. I normally don't try the Assured brand lip balms that they have because I know they have, like, I think they have a cherry one. They have a mint one, um, an aloe one. And today I saw this one, and I have never seen this one, and I really like vanilla-flavored lip balms, so I thought I would give this a shot. This is the vanilla-scented um, lip balm from Assured. You get two in a pack, so they're technically 50 cents a piece. Um, and I actually wanted to try it today. I need to pause the video and get a makeup wipe so I can wipe off whatever's on my lips right now, and then I will do a review on this real quick to let you guys know if this is worth a dollar or not. So I will put you guys on pause for a second and then I will go to the other room and get a makeup wipe. So hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I've wiped off everything off my lips. And we're going to try this Assured uh, Lip Balm and Vanilla Scented. So let's try it and see if it's worth a dollar or not. At least I can try it out and let you guys know if you need to go buy it or just don't bother wasting your dollar. So it looks like this. It's very cheap packaging. Like it feels like you could just probably step on it and bust it. It's very, very flimsy plastic. It says Susan and Moisturize Dry and Chaplets with Aloe and it's vanilla scented. So when you open it, it's a clear balm and it definitely smells like vanilla. Um, it actually smells like vanilla and cocoa butter together. It smells like the, van um, the Vaseline cocoa butter lotion is what it smells like. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to try it out and I will let you guys know what I think of it. So, when you apply it, definitely don't lick your lips because you get like that vanilla like scent and then you get like a flavor of vanilla, but it's like a waxy vanilla. I don't know. It does feel a little oily on my lips. Like it feels really slick. Um, it's a very thin consistency, but it does feel really oily on your lips. Um, if you were in a bind and couldn't afford, um, different, like, higher-end lip balm or whatever, or a chapstick brand or whatever, I mean, you could get by with this. I think it would probably make your lips feel good, but I can't get past the flavor, like, because I like, to, I lick my lips not meaning to, it just happens, and licking my lips right now, oh, not a good flavor. It's like a waxy um like oily taste it's, it's really weird um so if you wear this you know i actually don't recommend this at all um <laughs> right now they have the chapstick brand and they have lip smackers and they have the blistex lip um lip uh medex you could get that and just stay away from this this is not a good product um yeah, I don't recommend this. This is a great. Um, I mean, if you had to buy it and that's all they had in the store and you had to have some lip balm, maybe, but uh, I don't recommend it. Um, I'd never tried the Assured brand before, so I don't recommend this one at all. Vanilla scented. It, um, it does smell like Vaseline cocoa butter lotion. Like it has that like, sweet vanilla and that cocoa butter scent, but taste, ugh, like... Like right now where I licked my lips, I have like a waxy film like on my tongue. So I'm actually going to throw this out um, as soon as I get down with the video. Um, that wasn't worth a dollar. So I do not recommend that. Do Just stay away from that. Um, I'm actually going to wipe it off my lips right now because it's making me... Um, ugh. I don't even like how that tastes. Like I keep licking my lips and I try not to. Um, so anyways... 
but yeah um, don't recommend the uh, assured brand um, lip balms I think I've tried the aloe in the past maybe I think I got it in a swap or something and it was okay it wasn't the best lip balm ever but um I don't recommend the vanilla one at all because that's awful. Um, so stay away from that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the haul. Um, I will probably do a video coming up where I will swatch these so you guys can see what the colors look like. Um, you know, so I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.